On the 29th of November 1947, the United Nations voted on the partition of Palestine. In meeting 138 by a vote of 33 in favour and 13 against, the UN voted to create an independent Jewish state and an independent Arab state in what was previously the British Mandate of Palestine. Resolution 138 brought into being the Jewish State of Israel, which would be formally declared on the 14th of May 1948. The British administration's mandate was formalized by the League of Nations under the Palestine Mandate in 1923, as part of the dismembering of the Ottoman Empire following World War I. The mandate reaffirmed the 1917 British commitment to the Balfour Declaration for the establishment in Palestine of a national home for the Jewish people, with the prerogative to carry it out. A British census of 1918 estimated that 700,000 Arabs and 56,000 Jews lived in the area of the mandate. The Yishuv, the name used to describe the Jewish population of Palestine, accepted the partition whilst the Arabs rejected it outright. As a result, it was clear that war was inevitable. With the cessation of fighting in Europe in May 1945, the number of refugees wandering around the remnants of Hitler's Nazi Europe exceeded over 11 million, including the relatively few Holocaust survivors who now attempted to reach British mandatory Palestine. As the British Empire was in its final moments of collapse, India and Pakistan were about to be created at an enormous human cost. The British feared a similar bloodbath in Palestine. The Yishuv leadership under David Ben-Gurion began preparing for war in earnest. The basic infrastructure was already in place. The remnants of the Holocaust who were making their way across Europe had to be absorbed into the tiny country about to be born. The British had done their utmost to prevent the illegal ships of the Ali Bet reaching the shores of Palestine. The problem had become so acute during the war that Ben-Gurion was forced to issue the following statement during the war itself. We will fight the Nazis as if there was no white paper, and we will fight the white paper as if there were no Nazis. The white paper refers to the policy document which laid out the immigration rules for Jews attempting to reach Palestine. After World War II, in August 1945, American President Truman asked for the admission of 100,000 Holocaust survivors into Palestine. But the British maintained limits on Jewish immigration in line with the 1939 White Paper. The Jewish community rejected the restriction on immigration and organized an armed resistance. These actions and United States pressure to end the anti-immigration policy led to the establishment of the Anglo-American Committee of Inquiry. In April 1946, the committee reached a unanimous decision for the immediate admission of 100,000 Jewish refugees from Europe into Palestine, rescission of the white paper restrictions of land sale to Jews, and that the country be neither Arab nor Jewish, and the extension of the UN trusteeship. The US endorsed the Commission's findings concerning Jewish immigration and land purchase restrictions, while the UK conditioned their implementation on US assistance in case of another Arab revolt. In effect, the British continued to carry out their white paper policy. The recommendations triggered violent demonstrations in the Arab states and calls for a jihad and the annihilation of all European Jews in Palestine. The UNSCOP United Nations Special Committee on Palestine made its recommendations on the 3rd of September 1947 and envisaged the division of Palestine into three parts, an Arab state, a Jewish state, and the city of Jerusalem. It was clear to the Yishuv leaders that war between the Jews and the Arabs was now inevitable. However, the first step was to ensure that the forthcoming vote in November would be passed. A two-thirds majority was required. Ben Gurion was aware that this was not guaranteed and set to work to bring the enormous pressure of the United States to bear on those countries such as Liberia, IT Peru, to name but a few, which were either wavering or going to vote against the proposal to set up a Jewish state in part of the land of Israel. 
the Zionists launched an intense White House lobby to have the UNSCOP plan endorsed, and the effects were not trivial. The role and influence of the Soviet Union, now known as Russia, was immense. The Russians believed, only for a noticeably short time, that the new fledgling state would fall under the Soviet umbrella of influence. Thus, through immense pressure, the vote on whether to create a Jewish state was passed by 33 votes, 72%, to 13, and laid the path for Ben-Gurion to declare the State of Israel on the 14th of May 1948. In favour, 33 countries, 72% of the total votes, Latin America and the Caribbean, 13 countries, Bolivia, Brazil, Costa Rica, Dominican Republic, Ecuador, Guatemala, Haiti, Nicaragua, Panama, Paraguay, Peru, Uruguay, and Venezuela. Western Europe and others, there were eight countries, Belgium, Denmark, France, Iceland, Luxembourg, Netherlands, Norway, and Sweden. Eastern Europe were five countries, Belarusian SSR, Czechoslovakia, Poland, Ukrainian SSR, Soviet Union. Africa were two countries, Liberia and South Africa. Asia Pacific, there were three countries, Australia, New Zealand and the Philippines. In North America, two countries, Canada and the United States. Against 13 countries, 28% of the total votes. Asia Pacific, nine countries, primarily the Middle East sub-area. Afghanistan, India, Iran, Iraq, Lebanon, Pakistan, Saudi Arabia, Syria, Yemen. In Western European and others, there were two countries, Greece and Turkey, and in Africa, one country, Egypt, Latin America and the Caribbean, one country, Cuba, and there were 10 abstentions. Latin America and Caribbean, six countries, Argentina, Chile, Colombia, El Salvador, Honduras, and Mexico. In the Asia Pacific area, there was one country, China. In Africa was one country, Ethiopia. Western Europe and others, one country, United Kingdom. And the Eastern European countries, Yugoslavia. There was one country absent, was Asia Pacific, was Thailand. To stay up to date with JTV content, click subscribe here if you're on YouTube and hit the alarm bell. And if you're on Facebook, hit the like button and under following, click see first. If you enjoy watching JTV content and want to help us continue to grow, please consider making a donation to us by clicking here.